Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the opportunity uh, for us to gather together and and connect with one another and and grow. So a lot of stuff's been going on in my life lately. A lot of chaos, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of external things that are out of my control. And I've really let it affect me. And tonight, after I took my daughter in, I just heard this voice that said, you need to go for a run. I, there were quotes that I wrote down here that you just you know, said in the very beginning of that, that last part. You said, if you're going to take on some God-sized challenges, then self-sufficiency is no longer an option. I love that. And, and I just, I truly believe that as a Christian, we are to be God's way of showing off. And yeah. I don't think that's a popular, um, you know, way to look at it, but I, it's just the way I believe. And I think, you know, with my business partners and our business that we have here in the insurance industry, we set these gigantic audacious goals, just like you have, so that when we accomplish them, people will know that it was so far beyond our capability that God's hand had to be in it. This task force, when created by Joseph, Nathan, and Jeff, they set out with crazy goals, audacious goals. And we still have those today, but they knew from day one that it would take your hand in this to be able to accomplish it. I was running like 11, 11 and a half minute miles, but still, furthest I've ever run. All of a sudden, after I hit that seventh mile, things started to get extremely difficult. And for some reason, this, this thought in, in, entered my brain that, you know, tonight was going to be a, an encounter with God. And I want those of you that don't have a relationship with God right now, that, that, you know, that, that aren't a Christian right now, I want you to understand that as crazy as that sounds to you and as ridiculous that, as that sounds to you, it sounds equally as, as crazy to me. And that people would look back on what we've done over decades and say that, that God's hand had to be in that for them to be able to do that. And I'm so grateful and privileged and honored to be a part of that. And so the, the last two miles, every single breath, every single breath that I took, it was in and out. I said one of three things. I said, the last one I said is, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. And for another couple of minutes, it was, you're with me. You're with me. And I kept saying out loud, like, God, like, you're with me. That the only way we possibly could have done these things we've already done and will do is if God was instrumental throughout that process. And it may be like you said, it came in at the very last second and these things just happened. Yeah. Or it may be all along the way, these things start to align, but that it was beyond you. It was bigger than you. It was bigger than your team. And it was, it was proof and was evidence of the power of God. But what happened next? After mile seven, I'm averaging 11 and a half minute miles. About eight was nine minutes and 17 seconds. Mile nine was nine minutes and like 27 seconds. And mile 10, the last and final mile, furthest I've ever run to seven miles in my entire life, the last mile was like nine minutes and 27 seconds or nine minutes and 37 seconds. So the last three miles were <laughs> not just a little bit better, but like two minute mile better. Lord, with everything we do, help us to keep you at the center of it. In Christ's name we pray, amen.